Good morning, everyone. Myself Mughalya Dharade. In this video, we are going to discussing about Jenkins dashboard overview, and also we can see the Jenkins CLI. Uh, what are the options is available? Let's see the demo. First, I have logged into the Jenkins GUI. If you see here, here we have our user. Okay, if you want to change it, you can change configure. If you want to change, you can change it here. If you want to change your password, also we can change it here. Okay. And here, if you see here, this is the Jenkins dashboard. If you left side, if you see here, new, new item. Remember, item, job, or project, three are same only. Item, item, job, or project. But in real time, professionally, we call it as a job, Jenkins job. Okay. If some, if you want to ask someone, hey, can you please provide the Jenkins job? Okay. Item, project, job, both are same. Okay. Now, if you want to create, you can create here. Example, I'm creating one uh, new item. I'm, it means I'm going to create one job example. I'm giving here sample project. Okay. Here we can create a multiple ways. If you want to create a freestyle, you can create it. Will, if you select the freestyle job, it will be support all the languages. For example, build tool, map in Gradle, it will be support. You can configure everything in case. If you want to create a pipeline, you can create it. And in case, if you want to create a multi configuration project, you can create, if you want to create the folder, you can create it. If you want to create the organization level folder, you can create here. Temporarily, I'm choosing this freestyle project. Click this one. Okay. Now, just I'm saving this file. Okay. Save this file. Okay. You can create like this. The job you can create like this. And left side, if you see here, people who are available this particular Jenkins, you can see here. Currently, we have only one user, right? That's why we are seeing here only one user that is Murli. Okay. The name is here. And it building history. Building history, you can find out like uh, the particular job. What are the jobs is run? What time is jobs run? Uh, jobs is run. Everything you can able to see here. Date wise, you can able to view that particular history of that particular Jenkins jobs. Okay. Again, I'm telling jobs, item, project three are same only. Okay. And coming to the manage Jenkins, you can see the uh, Jenkins related uh, configuration. Remember, inside the Jenkins dashboard, manage Jenkins is a backbone of that particular Jenkins. Backbone of that particular Jenkins. Everything, if you want to configure everything, you can come to this manage Jenkins. You can configure everything. If you want to install a plugin, if you want to create the users, if you want to take the backup, everything you can be able to do from inside manage Jenkins only. Later part, I will show you this one. Okay. My views, you can, it here is showing only one uh, project we created, right? The project is showing. And coming to this here, build queue. Build queue means in case any jobs is are running and it is, it is on queue, you can able to view here. Okay. For example, 10 jobs is running. We run two jobs is running, remaining eight jobs is in queue. We can able to view here. Okay. Currently, we don't have any queue. That's why it is showing no builds in the queue. Okay. Next one, build executor status. In here, we have two ideas. It means like uh, example, you have a 10 jobs, you run the 10 jobs at a time. At a time, two jobs will be run, remaining eight jobs will be in queue only. Okay. Number of executors default in Jenkins, the default is two. If you want to change, you can change it also. Okay. That part I will show you. But right. And coming to the CLA part. Okay. What I said, like uh, Jenkins, what is the default path? When you install using M command, the default path is var lib Jenkins, right? Now, if you see here, here we have a multiple files and directories. We can discuss one by one. And coming to the config.xml, open this config.xml. Inside this config.xml, you can check that particular version, which version you want, uh, you are installed. Okay, and the number of executors, as, as I said, right? Number of executors default to. If you want to change, you can change it here. And here, user security default is true. It means, in case, for example, if you, you forgot your password, if you want to change it, here you, you can keep it uh, true to false, and you have you can change the particular password of the particular user. I will show you later part as well. Okay, and here you can see that Jenkins path. Okay, Jenkins home directory. Remember, Jenkins home directory is nothing but where the particular Jenkins path. Where is Jenkins, right? That is a path, okay? Dollar symbol means it will be taking the particular value and workspace, item, job name. You can, if you want to change the particular format also, you can change it. But here, majorly, if you forgot the password, we'll come here and it will keep it false and we can change the particular password. I mean, reset the password, okay? Remaining, you won't touch much. You can save back. And coming to the jobs, jobs is nothing but, jobs is nothing but, Items or project. Okay, we have created here job, right? Sample project. Okay, now go to the insert job. If you see here in, insert jobs, you can able to view that particular job name. Whatever we created inside the GUI, 
here we created sample project here. the particular project we can able to view inside project directory remember some of the interview level they will ask hey i have created a job in gui where it will be stored the particular job you have to tell if you install jenkins in using m command the varlib jenkins in the, inside the varlib jenkins we have a jobs directory it will be store all the jobs okay go to this uh, sample jobs project currently build builds on config.xml everything you can able to view here okay i hope understand right any question now come back simple simply i'm telling here jobs is directly nothing but it will be store all the jobs whatever you are creating in gui and coming to the nodes okay here in Jenkins, we have two things. One is master node and slave node. Master node is nothing but where the particular uh, Jenkins is installed. For example, we have installed Jenkins in this particular server, right? It will act as a master node. Okay. In case slave node is nothing but you can create a separate server. We can run the particular jobs in slave node. Why we require slave node? For example, you have a thousands of jobs in available in Jenkins. All the jobs is running in master node. What will happen? It may down the particular, it may impact your Jenkins, right? If you impact your Jenkins, what will happen? All the jobs will be broke, right? So because of that one, we will be created slave nodes and we can run the specific jobs to the particular slave node. We can I will show you later part, okay? And coming to the plugins, you can see the, all the plugins, whatever we install the plugins, you can be able to view here, okay? You can see the plugins directly. Example, fact. Yeah, if you see here, we have a lot of plugins. As I said, like we have uh, uh, selected suggested plugins, right? Those plugins we can able to view the plugin extension is dot jpa the plugin extension is dot jpa okay next one uh secret no secrets if you remember uh, the default path will be stored in inside the secret directory right in uh, the file name is initial admin password right but the particular file won't be here once you give the password and when you set the username password new password uh, create the new username and password existing initial admin password file will be deleted automatically it is a temporary password okay it is temporary password come back now if you see here uh, updates if you want to see the any updates created and user count user count and users if you want to verify that what are the users is, users is available in your jenkins you can verify here example i'm going to the user okay here if you see here we have a one user that is murli user okay the murli user it is a ID it is generated. Now it is use the cat command users.xml. Now you can see the, the entry, that particular string value, everything. Okay. Got it right? Inside the users directory, you can see that particular. Inside the users directory, we can see the what are the users is available. And one more thing, what I'm doing here, just temporarily I'm click this one. You can build this particular job. Currently, we haven't configured anything. Just we have created, just I'm build that particular Jenkins. Let's see what will happen. If you build, run the particular Jenkins job, it will be built right. First time we built right, that's why it is showing one. Okay, when it was started, you can able to view that particular time. Okay, remember, it is not IST time. It is based on your server time. For example, my server is UTC format. That's why it is showing UTC time. Okay, what is right? November 26, 2022. Okay, I hope you understand that. If you observe here, this one, first time we built. Now, from here, if you give the LL command, when you run the particular job, it will be create the workspace. Workspace is nothing but the particular job information will be stored here. See, jobs is nothing but just you have created the jobs configuration will be showing here. But when you build that particular job, okay, when you build that particular job, the particular job configuration will be available inside workspace. Okay, the particular build information you can able to view inside workspace. I'm going to insert the workspace. If you see here, we have a sample project. Go to the sample project. Okay, if you come here, currently we don't have anything. That's the reason is we have built that particular job, right? The particular job we haven't configured anything. That's why we are not able to see anything here also. And we go to go back here, go to the jobs. Okay, go to the jobs. Now, if you go here, we have a sample project, right? Go to the sample project here. If you see here, builds uh, directly, go to the build directly. Builds. Now, if you see here, we are seeing only first build. The reason is here we run right if you for example i'm going to run again okay now we, we built it two times right now you can able to see here two two builds if you see here build one number one number two remember this is very important i have run the build here it is showing build numbers where can we get this build number inside jobs directly go to the particular job go to the particular builds section builds directly you can able to find it how many 
builds will be run the particular job whatever you hear it build right everything you can able to view example i'm going to the one one build let's see see here everything build.xml uh, challenge.xml log you can able to view everything here okay i hope understand that the particular build number you can able to view inside jobs inside the jobs directory the particular job level you can view the build numbers okay what is it this is the cli part and also gui part okay i hope understand right any question no right see remember in real time okay we will be used only gui we won't use cli okay everything we can just will be install the plugin we can configure everything we will do in gui only some of the use cases in case for example if you want to restart the service okay you, you have to log into the jenkins and you can restart using system ctl star restart space that jenkins right you can restart if you want to check the status system ctl status jenkins if you want to stop the jenkins you can start uh, you, you can log into the jenkins server you can stop it but one more option also is there through jenkins ua also you can restart the jenkins if you want to restart you can restart the jenkins as well but some of the use cases we may use cli also but configuration related stuff 100% will be working in GUI part only, okay? No need to worry about the uh, CLI commands, like uh, how we can configure this job using CLI, we don't require. Everything will be do through GUI only, okay? I hope you understand that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.